Hey everyone, it's JJ from Filmora here to empower your inner video creator and we are back with another episode of You Ask, We Answer, the series where we answer the questions that you guys leave us in the comments section of our videos. So um, don't mind my voice, um, I'm a little sick right now. But that's not gonna stop me from answering your questions which we have in our lovely YouTube red bag. La la la. So we're gonna answer them, so let's go. Let's get started, shall we? Oh, actually, now that I have your attention, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to our channel. We would love to have you around more often. And don't forget to hit that bell button as well so that you are notified of all of our new video releases. Okay, for real this time, we're gonna start. Okay, it's gonna insert that because we want you to subscribe. So let's get into our first question for real this time. All right, so this one is from Oskusua. Um, like, can you make a five vertical split screen? So Filmora 9 does have some split screen templates available, but if you don't like the ones that are available or um, there is not one that you can use on there, like vertical ones, you can go ahead and make them manually in Filmora 9. Let me go ahead and show you how it's done right now. Add your vertical video to the timeline. Double click on the video and you will see the video editing option box on the left. Under the transform option, you can rotate, flip, scale, and change the position of the video. Adjust the first video and place it to the left side of the screen. Next, add your second video onto the timeline. Use the same options to position the video so it sits right beside the first video. When creating split screens manually, you will need to be aware of the size of your video frame. You may also need to overlap or layer the video, so be aware of which videos will appear on top. On the timeline, the video that sits at the very top track is the video that is in the top layer. And there you go, that's how you can create your own split screens in Filmora 9, so that if you didn't like any of the templates, you can create your own. All right, let's get into the next question. Okay, so this question comes from Pilot Marcel underscore. Hi, Filmora team. Wink, hello, wink. <laughs> I like to use the LUTs in my videos. The only problem is that the LUTs are often way too strong. Please add a function to control the strength of the LUTs. All right, so you can actually control the strength of the LUT, and I'm gonna show you how you can do that in Filmora 9 right now. So when you add the LUT to the timeline, double click on the LUT and in the editing options on the top left window, you can adjust the level of strength you want. And there you go. So you can make it as strong as you want or as soft as you want. And that's awesome, right? Super easy. So this question comes from Robert Hutchinson. Posting tutorials on Christmas day. Wow, you guys don't have anything else to do. Wow, Robert calling us out. Well, <laughs> as much as we are dedicated to bringing you guys some quality content. I can assure you, Robert, we were not posting directly on Christmas Day. We were home with our families, spending time with them, and we were using the scheduling function on YouTube, which you can do right here. Let me go ahead and show you. When you upload your video in the section where you can choose the visibility of your video, choose schedule and choose the time you want your video uploaded. So this is very, very helpful to creators. So if you didn't already know this function existed, go ahead and try scheduling your video. Then it saves you a whole bunch of time so you can kind of do other stuff. All right, so next question comes from <clears throat> Muhammad Ruman Khan. I have a question. I am Rumi. Hello, Rumi. How to make moving text and moving blur? All right, so moving text and moving objects is not a feature yet in Filmora 9. However, you can do animated keyframes in Filmora Pro. And our good friend Johnny shows you how to do that in our Filmora Pro video. So I'm going to go ahead and link that in the description, or you can watch it up here. And while we're on the topic of Filmora Pro, we just launched the Filmora music video series where we teach you everything you need to know about making a music video. Episode one is now live, so go ahead and check that out. It's really, really cool. Um, the entire music video was edited in Filmora Pro, which is super awesome. So go ahead and check out that series, which I can link up here as well, and in the description box below. What did I say? Description box below. <laughs> so, <clears throat> next question is from Mr. Slime. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Slime. <laughs> how do I put music without the video um, to it? So I'm assuming you mean, how do you put music without the video in the timeline? Okay, so there is no automatic way to do this just yet in Filmora 9. However, there is a way that you can do it in the timeline. So let me go ahead and show you how to do that. First, you'll need to add your video clip to your timeline. Then right-click the video clip in the video track and choose the detach audio option. This will detach the audio from the video. Now all you need to do is delete the video portion and you will be left with the audio. And there you go. That's how you add audio only from a video. Just detach it and remove the video. Easy. 
This question is from 8ballking365. How to blur background video. Okay, so in Filmora 9, there is an effect that allows you to blur the background, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do it. With your video in the timeline, click the effect tab and under filters, find the background blur category. These backgrounds work best if you have a vertical video or a video that doesn't match the aspect ratio of your project. Another thing you can try is in the utility folder, which is also under the effects tab, you can add a mosaic, which will add a blurred box on top of your video. Just adjust the box to fill the space. You can also use the tilt shift linear or circle to add a blur around a circle or a square shape. There you go, add blurring to background. This question is from Fideo. Hi JJ, just wanted to know, remember the Star Wars fan film? Can you guys make a Stranger Things fan film? All right, well that's an awesome request and kind of really interesting, but what would you want to see? So if you agree with um, Fideo um, of, that we should do a Stranger Things series, let us know what you should include because I'm a big fan of the series and I would love to know what kind of effects you guys want to see. So let us know in the comment section below what you want to see, if this is something that you guys are interested in, and if you guys want to see more fan films that the Filmora team creates. And that is all the questions that we have for today. Thank you guys so much for all your questions. Don't forget to keep asking because we want to make sure to answer all of your questions as best as we can. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.